When the last Russian-made engine from the tail nozzle of China's warplanes unloaded, this had long relied on external technology, in the east of the big country, in the end how to break through the blockade, in just two decades to complete from, student to, leader, of the amazing leap Russia's, Commerceant, recently disclosed the news, not only unveiled the Chinese Air Force comprehensive replacement of domestic aircraft engines of the historical moment, but also in the Eurasian continent set off ripples, had witnessed China's aviation industry hobbling Russian military industrial circles. At this moment is a complex look, at this former partner's magnificent turn. Time back 30 years ago, the Chinese Air Force's most advanced, Su-27 fighter aircraft is still completely dependent on Russia to provide the engine. At that time, there is a heartbreaking detail. Each time the Russian side delivered the engine, Chinese technicians will be like dismantling precision clocks and watches like repeated studies, even a screw material to be sampled and analyzed. This kind of hungry learning spirit eventually gave birth to the code name, Tai Hong, domestic engine program. In the workshop of Xinyang Liming Engine Factory, the old technicians still remember the cold winter of 2005, when the first completely self-assembled WS-10 prototype ignition success. The whole plant ground or trembling, but the foreign technicians shook their heads and asserted that this engine is difficult to withstand the test of combat. It is this kind of skepticism that has pushed China's aeronautical engineers to embark on a thorny road of autonomy. 2011, the J-11B fighters installed with WS-10 suddenly stopped in the air during training which almost resulted in a major accident. The investigation found that the high-pressure turbine blades were cracked under extreme working conditions, a fatal flaw that made the R and D team live and eat in the lab for three consecutive months. They improved the blade structure like surgery, tested 217 new alloy formulas, and finally created a unique, shark gill, type cooling channel design. This technique of carving hundreds of micro grooves on the blade surface, directly increased the engine's high temperature resistant performance by 200 degrees Celsius, which became a key turning point for the breakthrough of domestic aircraft development technology. The story of the J-15, Flying Shark, carrier aircraft can best reflect the dramatic nature of the reversal. 2012 Liaoning ship first landing, the yellow-brown painted verification aircraft is still installed with Russian-made L-31F engine. It was once thought that it would take at least two decades for China's naval aircraft to achieve power system autonomy, but the latest batch of J-15Ts not only replaced the WS-10H engine, but also rose to the sky with the help of electromagnetic catapults. This, Chinese heart, optimized for the maritime environment hides a lot of innovative technology, intelligent desalination device can remove salt spray crystals from the air intake within 0.3 seconds. The bionic design of the combustion chamber ceramic coating allows corrosion resistance to be increased by three times, and the formation of the laser perforation process of the cooling air film extends the life of the turbocharger by 40%. Once plagued by shipboard aircraft, marine disease, high humidity caused by the corrosion of the pressurizer blades, salt spray caused by sensor failure and other issues, in front of the systematic solution to solve. Into the depression in Zhuangyou, Sichuan Province, 624 wind tunnel group is 24 hours of roaring. Here is known as the cradle of China's aircraft development, 8 meters in diameter, a large continuous wind tunnel. The air to three times the speed of sound whistling past. The engineers have developed a multi-physical field coupling test system that can monitor more than 3,000 data points at the same time and even a 0.01 mm crack on the blade cannot escape the eyes of eye algorithms. In the past five years, the cumulative total of test miles completed here is equivalent to 150 laps around the world. In the most thrilling, bird-swallowing test, the air cannon shoots 1.5 kilograms of simulated birds into the running engine, and WS-10B still runs stably after swallowing 18 steel birds, marking the breakthrough of China's aeronautical development of the most stringent airworthiness standards. This silent technological revolution is reshaping the international military industrial landscape. Russian companies, which once held 80% of China's aero engine market, are now facing a sharp drop in orders. The subtle change at the Moscow Air Show was symbolic when the Chinese booth revealed the parameters of the WS-19 engine, which can be adapted to Russian warplanes, it sent shockwaves through the industry. This medium thrust engine with a thrust to weight ratio of more than 10 not only outperforms the Russian or D-93, but also has a modularized design to support rapid retrofitting, demonstrating China's market expanding ambitions in the aeronautical development industry. International observers have noted that Air Force delegations from many Southeast Asian countries 
have significantly extended their stay in the Chinese exhibition area, and some traditional Russian equipment users have begun to seriously consider the HART program. The breakthrough of China's aircraft development is not only reflected in the military field. In the Zhuhai Air Show, equipped with WS-20 transport aircraft transport 20B flight performance, the pilot in the low-speed pass field suddenly pushed the throttle to the maximum. The huge fuselage like an invisible giant hand lifting the vertical climb. Behind this display of power and beauty is the amazing response speed of the engine from idle to full power in just 4.2 seconds, more than twice as fast as its predecessor. The video that came out during the airshow showed that during the ground test of a certain type of engine, the nozzle steering mechanism completed a 90-degree deflection in 5 seconds, showing the precise control capability of vector thrust. And these technologies, which used to be mastered only by the top aeronautical development powerhouses, have now blossomed in China. The comprehensive upgrading of the industrial chain, has injected vitality into continuous innovation. In the blade foundry in Wuxi, Jiangsu province, the turbine blade under the electron microscope shows a brilliant golden luster, which is the masterpiece of the combination of the third-generation single crystal technology and physical vapor deposition coating. Each blade undergoes 27 nano-precision inspections in 158 processes, and the final product has tens of thousands of microscopic air film holes arranged like a precise honeycomb. In Xi'an's Aeronautical Control Research Institute, the research team developed the Intelligent Brain system, which allows the engine to automatically perceive the flight status of the warplane and autonomously adjust the parameters of the working conditions like an experienced mechanic. This attempt to deeply embed artificial intelligence into the power system is rewriting the control logic of traditional aircraft engines. The leapfrog development of maritime power can best reflect the strategic value of domestically produced aircraft engines. After the latest J-15T carrier aircraft completed the electromagnetic catapult test, pilots fed back that the thrust curve of the domestically produced engine was perfect with the catapult and the takeoff weight was 21% higher than that of the skidding type. What is more noteworthy is that, in a certain Taiwan Sea cruise mission, the J-16 crew found that after replacing the domestic engine, the radar signal signature of the fighter in ultra-low-altitude breakout defense has been reduced by 30%. This is the stealth effect of the special coating of the engine blades. In the far sea training in the western Pacific Ocean, J-20 has created zero damage in the simulated confrontation many times by virtue of the supersonic cruising capability realized by the domestic power system. Standing at a new historical point, the story of China's aeronautical development is like a precise turbine rotor, with each tooth bite having gone through thousands of hammers and refinements, from the foothills of the Taihong Mountains to the Yellow Sea, from the laboratory microscope to the carrier deck of the tail flame. This power revolution is not only the guardian of the dome of steel, but also ignited the engine of the entire high-end manufacturing industry. When the Fujian ship electromagnetic catapult will J-35 fighter sent to the clouds, the two blue tail flame not only breaks the sea and sky boundaries, but also shows a truth. The core technology rely on karma is not to come. China's aeronautical development with 30 years of independent attack, and finally will be the destiny of the throttle firmly in their own hands.